Salut coders, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial. This is Piske here. So in this video, I want to show you the implementation that I added for story, for storylines and a user will be able to view these stories in, in sequence uh, as a story view like Instagram. So if you click this uh, camera, this is, we can pick the image and I can take an image from here and i'll pick this and i'll mark it like this so i have added this story so it means another friend of mine uh, or like all the friends will be able to see this story let me go to the stories page you can see this is the latest uh, story just i have uploaded so this is the implement this is what we added on this video showing this list of stories as a story time so if you want to learn more about implementing this in Flutter and on your chat application or on the app, any application that you want to store to, to see those type of storylines, may you continue watching this video. So let's get started. So I implemented this story timeline uh, using Flutter and we are using this library, which is a story view. So we are using this library, which is a story view on our chat application to view those uh, images. So let me show you the implementation and the changes that I made. So I added the library first in my PubSpec YAML, which is this one. So after adding this library, I created a screen, which is story view screen, whereby I it will accept story items and these story items are these ones either text image or video so for me i'm using image but i'm not using one of these because i created my custom because this image requires a url a, an https url but i'm using a local local file path so I decided to create a custom so this is the custom that I created so this is the custom so you with that library you can customize to what you want then here yeah, I'm passing a storage ID in the story upright which is the object that we stored on our upright so once you are in here uh, on the story item this is the story item so you can rape with story item because the it's supposed to be it will require a story item so our widget will be side inside story item so yeah this is the custom image that i created so this is going to be um this is going to be my view which you are seeing here so this is going to be my view look loading from a local file path so in this custom widget i'm passing the story storage id from upright so the file is a storage id like an id to identify each file so i'm using consumer riverport consumer widget so that i can render i will be listening to the file i'll first sync to get the file byte if i get the file and uh, I created this file temp provider. We are storing this file on temporary file. So it will be temporary uh, and you won't be visible on your gallery. Then here I'm saying file and passing the file. So this, this temp file is the provider that we created on our previous tutorials. So the temp provider is this one. So we are just downloading the image after getting the image we are saving it in a temporary directory if the file if the file exists we just read the file if it doesn't exist we can download it and save the file here yeah. so this is going to be the file path so if it doesn't exist we will download it if it exists we just load it from we load it from from our device so that's the best way to cache your file so it means if i open this this file is already downloaded so 
the next thing that I did, so that, that's the implementation of you to be able to, to view this. You just create your custom. So I showed you how to create a custom. So this one, when are we adding this uh, in our view model? Yeah, when you're getting list of stories, when you get our stories, uh, like the stories for that for that user, which is in sweet. We want to map these story stories from upright to 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 story item. So that's why I'm mapping this. So you have list of story items, and we are adding this custom image here. So if it's the type is image, I know I'm using custom story view image which we created, which this one that we showed currently. We are supporting images only. Maybe in the future tutorials, I will show you how we can upload videos, how we can upload a text. But for now, we are supporting images at the time of this making video. So I also modified on, uh, you know, this one. I also modified get stories. So on our get stories, uh, we I created a map with the list of story with stories. So each 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 map so in a map it's a key value pair so our key is going to be a phone number or a user id so and the user id is going to have a list of stories so you can see this story musuid that the key is the user id and the values that is inside here are the stories so you can see for this user is many stories so that's why i created what a key so I'm looping all the stories that I get from my friends. And from those stories, I'm just checking uh, like the friend ID. If the friend ID, we just check if the map, if map contains friend ID, I will just add uh, the story to that, uh, to that key, which is this one. Else, if it doesn't, if we don't have, uh, does not have friend ID, first thing we add, a friend we add a friend id into the map and then we add a first story so when there's another story it means the key already exists we add another story to the same key so that's the condition that is happening here then on set friend stories we are just setting this map so on our view we modified this also if you go to our view on our story screen we are now using uh, let me show you we are now using friend map so a map so far a map we, we only have one user with the, with me with the four stories if you have another user with the seven stories that user will be placed next to here so far we only have one user then so that user we, if you click that user, that's where you see these stories. So in our map, we just loop our map. Currently, our map is only one user with many stories. And then this widget, it's a custom widget which I created. We want to show the user ID. We like the image, the image that you are seeing here and the name. So this is the custom widget and here it's a consumer we as we are passing a user id which is the friend user id so on the customer user we just listen to the user here we are syncing to user get the user information of this user so we get the i we get the the username and the profile picture so this one this year we are showing the profile picture and here we are displaying the the username which is Musid and the profile picture so that that was the change so if you click the story okay so this item as you can see the user image name item this one we have a callback of selected so if it is a gesture so if you click this image we pass an event here a callback 
with the user in it so this is the callback so if someone click that if you click this we are now navigating to the use to the stories view so before you navigate to the stories view we just map the stories of this user means we are mapping the stories of this user you can see here these are the stories of that of this user musuid and we are passing them into into this where we are mapping the those stories based on type if it's an image we are using our custom image so that after after the mapping we check if the story is not empty and then we navigate to this story view screen which i showed you first and we display this list of list of stories so i also made some changes added i also added the if you click this one you can see you you can view the image and you can delete a story so if you if someone seen your if someone seen your like this let me show you on this device so you can see i uploaded these four stories and the use this user is seeing those stories uh, these are the same stories which this user is seeing one two three two three four so these are the stories you can see so if i click this image you can see it's showing that this story has been seen by bisque means this user is the bisc who has seen this story and if i click here you can see bisc only seen this story so it's the only friend we have seen our story so i added this implementation to see the stories someone who has seen your story and the other thing that i added here so that screen is this one which is my story view my story view screen whereby in this scene i'm i'm loading uh, the scene friends so on this screen's friends on get scene stories i added this method which is get scene stories so i'm getting from our app right i'm just getting the story id because this story this story like uh, each story is its own storage id so i'm getting by story id and the scene is true so by storage id which is this one this storage id and the scene is true so i'm getting only stories whereby we have same storage id and the scene is true and i'm excluding my phone number i am excluding my phone number here when the friend id is equal to my user id i have to exclude it then it will display that that story so it will display the scene so that's all from here so we have a builder we have a list of view builder here just showing the list of uh, this list of view that's showing the the user we have seen and you are using the same user image title whereby we are passing a user id and an image it's just a custom widget which i created also and in here so let me show you by deleting so you can come here like on this one and i can come here and i can also delete so the delete if i click delete it will ask me for confirmation and i click yes and you can see we are left with three stories now we are left with three stories so let me add another story and i can accept here you can see the story has been uploaded and you can see the story so you can see a new story has been added here so 
so this is how it works and you can see we have managed to add this story to that user and this is the new story that we added so if you are new to this channel you may kindly subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever we upload new videos so let me show you what i also changed on the on the story repository. story so i added the logic here when getting stories i just added this for 24 hours uh, if it's 24 hours if the time of creation is greater than 24 hours we are deleting that story so that's how the story will be deleted or for each user uh, both the both the the creator and also the friend if he wants to load this story after 24 hours he won't see this story it will be deleted so that's how we, i implemented this the deletion of 24 hours salucodas